What's going on, crackers? I'm at my second strand drop. The first strand drop and the second strand drop are going to be done the same way. Um, and the reason that I do an under three over four herringbone for my uh, 14 plat is because I want to be able to drop as many strands as I can when the strand position is on the bottom. So here's how we're going to do it. Here are two strands we're going to drop. They're in the sixth position right now. I want to get them down into the first position. So I go under three over three, grab it, pull it, lay it down. And when I lay it down here, I'm just going to sort of wrap it around the back and not have it grouped together with the remaining strands. Now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to go under three over two. I'm actually going over three, but we're not counting this one that I just dropped. Both of those are going to just sit and sort of dangle. And then I'm going to do a series of 12 plats. Okay, now I want you to notice that strand and that strand, which are not tight. The strands above it and the strands below them have been tightened, but these ones aren't. Those are the two strands we dropped. So I'm going to grab one of the strands we dropped and pull gently, and you'll see it tighten up there. Do the same thing with the other side. And I'm just going to hold these against the thong. I'm going to grab the entire series I just plaited and sort of just push it up a little bit. I want to sort of artificially crowd those strands just to prevent any gaps. And then I'm going to keep on plaiting. These two strands here that I've dropped, I'm going to keep them and they're going to be, get incorporated into the core. And I'll cut them off as needed, as I need to get the diameter reduced for plaiting purposes. But I'll leave them there for insurance just so things don't get too, too thin. And uh, I'll come back when I'm going to drop the third and last set.